And essentially, I wanted to familiarize you with our particular palette of colors, range of colors, which we call our palette. This is also our palette where we mix our colors, so that's confusing already. Um, and how we mix up a simple color wheel. Sounds simple. Uh, I made it a little bit more complex so that you know the range that's available to you um, with our palette, with our colors. So what I have here, you're gonna be like, what are all the letters on there? What's going on? I'm gonna show you the basic primary colors first. You have two reds. All right, so you've got your cadmium red and your alizarin crimson. They are both reds, quite different looking reds. And this is the alizarin crimson, this is the cadmium red. All right, we've got two blues. We've got ultramarine and cerulean. Ultramarine and cerulean. Mm -hmm. This blue here is a mixture between the two. So I put that there because I want you to see that you really have three blue options that are quite important. This feels more like a co what we would call a cobalt blue. And you can go ahead and mix that when you begin painting so that you know that you have that as an option for color mixing. Um, and then you have only one yellow. Here it is. And when we paint traditionally in oil and another color, uh, later when we're not dealing with theory so much, often we'll have two yellows at least. But for this course, we just really need one. And that's why your tube of yellow is gonna look bigger than this one. This is just a small one. Um, you should have a larger tube of that. You have white as well, the large tube. But for this, you're not gonna use white. You're just gonna use the colors out of the tube and you're gonna mix between them. So those are your primaries, your reds, your blues, and your one yellow. And primaries mean, you know, the, what determines that a color is a primary color is that it cannot be mixed with by any two other colors, okay? They come out of the tube, that's the way they are, right? They are not uh, a color that you can mix two other colors to find. Colors that are mixed by two other colors are secondary colors and tertiary colors. So your secondary colors are violet, orange, and green. And those are mixed by adding red and yellow to make orange, yellow and blue to make green, and blue and red to make violet. All right, so that's a simple part of the color wheel. Then between the secondary colors and the primary colors, uh, there are tertiary colors. And that's your blue violet, your red violet, your red orange, your yellow orange, your yellow green, right? Your blue green. And those are when you're mixing toward the color that's next to it on the color wheel uh, that makes it. So it has more quantity of blue in it than yellow to make a blue green. All right, more quantity of yellow in it than green to make a yellow green. So what else are you seeing here? You're seeing me doing some other things here. What the heck's she doing? This is the green that comes out of your tube. Viridian green, I put down VG, that's the viridian green. It's a very blue turquoisey green, and that's why I had you actually purchase this one um, as the only secondary color that you did buy because you can't really mix this color with what we have. You could if you had um, a phthalo blue or something like that, but we don't have that. So this is giving you a cool blue green, um, but I'm calling it a primary color here because um, you're gonna treat it as such. Here is ultramarine blue, which is this UB, ultramarine blue, mixed with yellow. And that makes this kind of green. These are both uh, secondary colors, um, both middle value secondary colors, but made differently and they have very different qualities, right? So here is yellow mixed with viridian green, and here is yellow violet, I mean, <laughs> excuse me, yellow mixed with uh, ultramarine blue. And they're both yellow greens, they have more quantity of yellow than, than green, but 
they look really different. So I wanted to show you the, the varieties there. The same thing could be true if you mixed cerulean blue and cadmium red to make a violet. You're gonna get a very different violet than if you mix alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue. And when we start to break down colors into pairings of um, other types, you'll get to those varieties. But for now, I just wanted to show you these, these um, differences between the viridian green because I think that's the most dramatic. The next um, thing I just want to point out about the color wheel is that you're dealing with complements in the color wheel. We have it as a wheel so that we can kind of look across the wheel and we find what is known as the complement. So if we go from our orange straight across, we're gonna go to see blue. And those are complementary colors, orange and blue. If we go across from our yellow, we're going yellow to violet, and those are complementary colors. And if you go from red to green, these are complementary colors as well. And if you spin that wheel any old way, you're gonna always come across some variation of a complement. Sometimes they call them split complements. Um, so if you had a, you know, a red orange across from, you know, a, a blue green, then that would be a split complement. But anyway, that, that's more complex. This is really all I want you to know for right now is how your palette translates into a color wheel. And what I'd like you to do is to mix this the same way that I did in nice piles. Take a picture of it. You can label it if you want to better and more than I did um, if you want. And that way you have a document of what your palette does and how it works. All right. You don't have to paint with those colors. Um, make a separate color wheel painted out. You just need this. All right. You made a color wheel. When you have these colors out, what I'd like you to do then, the second part of the assignment, is I want you to have the colors arranged here, okay, from light colors to dark colors. So you're talking about the value the lightness or darkness of color. And you're gonna place them next to each other, okay? And they don't have to be perfect, but you can, if you like doing this sort of thing, you can put them in here, all right? But it should have all of these colors. You don't have to make um, two yellow greens. You don't have to make um, two uh, blue greens or two greens um, one of each is fine but I want it, I want you to start exploring how light and how dark these colors are all right and which ones you see as the darkest and which ones you see as the lightest and that would be your first little color assignment for um, the semester and we'll I'll post this, you'll check it out, you'll see if it makes any sense to you, I hope it does, and we'll, we'll look at it together, all right? Um, and you can post it on to Classroom too. I am lighting this, it's a very dark day, but I am lighting this um, palette pretty heavily with a, with a clamp light, so when you go to take a picture or when you're mixing colors even, make sure you have really good natural light um, I don't suggest doing this at night um, under a crappy light. I think daylight's the best. If you can't work in daylight, try at least to get several lights on, on your work as you're working it. And for photographing as well. Color is light, and so light makes a big difference when we're working with color and seeing color. All right, I hope this makes sense, and I can't wait to see what you do with it and what your questions are. Take care.